In his heyday, tennis legend John McEnroe captivated the sports world, both with his talent and larger-than-life persona. He won seven singles Grand Slams, including four U.S. Open titles. Well, he's also using his well-known voice to ace a very different world. Join us now, Mr. John McEnroe. Johnny Mac, good to see you. Hey! I mean, it's great to be seen. Absolutely. And, uh, considering person, what's been going on the last year and a half, yep. I feel great, Al. Yeah. And, um, Absolutely. Great to see you in person. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so and much. Nice to meet you. It's good you having too. you here. Yeah, we're, we're coming out of this pandemic, uh, and even though we're still in it, uh, it be, we, we had those problems last year, but now we've got a whole raft of star players like uh, Venus and Serena Williams, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, all pulling out because of injuries. How is that going to affect you know, the, the play itself. Well, I would say that would be a huge opportunity for lesser-known players, obviously. Mm. The players that we've been waiting to step up in the dominant era of yeah. Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic, which has been unheard of. Mm -hmm. These guys have 20 majors each. I thought seven was good, Al. Right. It stinks. <laughs> okay? That's the bottom line. So, and, and Serena is obviously the greatest of all time, one of the greatest athletes yeah. ever, men or women. So, but 40 in tennis, Al, as you may know, is about 70. Mm -hmm in the real world yeah. so the fact that they've done as well as they have for so long is is amazing but we had to expect at some point this was going to happen and the good part for tennis fans is we have something that's very unusual maybe happening Djokovic Novak Djokovic is going for the grand slam right. which means win all four of the big ones in one year which hasn't been done since 1969 on the men's side wow. so this is a big moment for us and see if some of these younger players can step up and stop them or not. Yeah. We'd, we'd love to get your take. There are a lot of eyes, obviously, on Naomi Osaka. She's put a lot of attention on mental health and the strain that it takes. And even, you know, during the Olympics, we talked a lot about mental health. What's your take on what some of these young athletes are dealing with? Why do you think I yelled all the time? You know, it was <laughs> That's the, a, listen. Uh, it was better than that than crying, in a yeah, way, you know, yeah, was, yeah. as a guy almost. But as far as Naomi goes, I, I, I commend her. And, you know, I think what she did was great. Uh, the part that I worry about mm -hmm. is that there's going to be now extra scrutiny on her instead thing. of less scrutiny I said the same yeah. thing. and she's an introverted shy person to yeah. begin with so all of a sudden what she thought was a good thing and most of us did went from bad to worse yeah. at the French Open because yeah. all of a sudden they were going to find her and she said find me but I'll give it to charity great idea mm -hmm. then these tennis powers to beat said well maybe we're going to default her bad idea mm -hmm. you know then she pulled out lose lose for tennis lose yeah. for her the pressure would mount it appears so I worry about that aspect of it because mm -hmm. she's the best hardcore player in the world I mean if she plays her best she's going to win this tournament mm -hmm. wow that's the, the coming from you that means a lot yeah. it really does and now you've you've what I've always been an admirer of yours about is that you have morphed. You, your career has gone from obviously star athlete to a broadcaster to a best-selling author, and and now you're doing voiceover work. Who would have thought? Mindy Kaling kind of brought you into that. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, the quick story. I was walking around Fifth Avenue like 30, 40 years ago, and I wore the skies because I was sort of people were coming up. To me. I said, "What would it be like if no one knew me?" And I, it was awesome. And I went into a store, a tapestry store, and they said. Uh, I go, how much is that tapestry? You go, you John McEnroe? No way. And I go, how did you know? And they go, I recognize your voice. So at about 25, 30, people thought, hey, maybe I could, and myself, I, I have a sort of somewhat unique voice. Maybe I could use 30 years later, uh, fast forward, I met Mindy Kaling at a Vanity Fair Oscar party. What? We're coming in. I'm going in to take a photo. She's coming out. She goes, oh, my God, uh, I have this idea that you've been a narrator of a show I'm making for Netflix. And I'm like, yeah, right. You know, you, checks in the mail. Uh, you know, you know, Al, you've been around this forever. Nine out of ten things don't happen, but it actually did happen. Wow. And actually, God forbid, I'm the narrator for a young high school girl, Indian American girl, trying to deal with growing up, and I'm sort of like her alter ego or uncle, you know, and I'm thinking, how the hell did I get this? That's I'm amazing. wondering the same thing, but I believe in a weird way it's works. I think you got a that. website with... Well, Squarespace decided to do this sort of mockumentary type thing, have some fun with it. And now that I'm this huge narrating star, there you, go. Exactly. you know, I'm, I don't have a social media presence. So this thing with Netflix, Squarespace, it's never awesome. have I ever gotten a third year. So I'm all pumped up because now all of a sudden you can go to a website, John Macarno. I may even, God forbid, have some type of social media at some Look stage. Out. Out. Look out. So who knows on, where man. it's all headed, right? That's all. So You'll great. come back and talk to us about it? So great. Abs I'll be back, what's tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> okay, Friday. we'll make a date. We're having a party. John McEnroe, always great to see you, Thank my you. friend.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.